Hi guys, so this past year I've been playing and painting lots and lots of kill teams and as you can see I've got loads more here to do as well as obviously some kit bashing to make up some kill teams and the one thing you'll often hear me say on this channel is I don't have much storage space so yeah all these kill teams trying to think of a nice way to store them and well this is what I've come up with a nice sort of well a book um, but obviously no ordinary book this one obviously hides a little secret and that's, uh, well, my kill team. And in this case, it's the Intercessors, but as you can see, they're a little bit different. They're um, Stormtroopers and Darth Vader. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little uh, neat little book here. Something that I can obviously make several of these up and obviously slide them together on, well, a bookshelf. So rather than putting all my kill teams in boxes, in drawers, never to be seen again, this is just a fun way of having them kind of on show. Uh, but yeah, certainly something different and, and fun. So this fake book was all made from one piece of MDF and it's this, it's an A3 size and it's 3mm thick um, and yeah, obviously I get everything from Amazon so I got a pack of these, well, from Amazon. So you've seen how it looks at the end and at the beginning but now it's time to sort of show you how, well, we got the middle stage done and it was achieved by this toy that I was recently sent. Well, I say a toy, um, obviously it's a big kid toy and I certainly am a big kid. So yeah, one of the joys of having this channel is obviously I am sent quite a few things to sort of try out and test, which is absolutely awesome because obviously I like trying new things out. Um, so you probably guess what this is already, but obviously it comes in the box. There's a few little screws to sort of tighten up here and there. Didn't take too long at all to get this bad boy all put together. And the instructions are nice and simple on this. I say it's just a few little bits here and there, plug in some bits, and yeah, we're sort of ready to rock and roll and make some fake books out of, well, MDF. So if you haven't guessed already, this is a lovely laser engraver. It's one of those kind of things that you never knew you needed until you had one, and then, yeah, best thing since sliced bread. So this is the Algo laser, uh, 22 watts. So this is a very powerful one. I have used a 10 watt one in the past, and I thought that was pretty powerful. Um, yeah, all the specs for this, guys, click on the link down below and go and check it out. I do need to just quickly mention though, this was sent to me, uh, but as usual guys, anything I say about this is purely my words. I'm not told what to say in any kind of way. So the software I use for this is Lightburn, uh, but like a lot of things, <laughs> I am a bit of a noob when it comes to this. I've only used it a few times. It's fairly simple, as in, especially for like cutting things out. As you can see, you just sort of put the shapes in, um, and yeah, arrange them, obviously. So I've arranged these all to fit on one sheet of A3 MDF. Uh, which is pretty cool because I don't know it's only going to cost me like a pound or so to make each one of these and obviously the important things over here are the sort of speed and the power although I do make a little bit of an error in this and I'll obviously mention that at the well when I make the error um, and then yeah push a few buttons and away it goes so obviously I have speeded this up by a considerable amount um, I mean this thing is pretty fast anyway and I say you can adjust the settings so you could make this well you could make this a lot faster than even I had it uh, but one thing you will find though, the faster it goes and obviously the uh, the more power you use, it does produce a fair bit of smoke. So yeah, this does need to be done in a well ventilated area. And again guys, everything I do on this channel is obviously me doing things. You take your own necessary sort of health and safety precautions. Um, yeah, so I had lots of windows open when I was doing this. But admittedly, because I have got this speeded up, it does look like there's more smoke than sort of <laughs> there is that comes off of the thing. Um, but yeah, I just think it's amazing that you can have a real life laser uh, in your own living room, which is obviously where I'm doing this because I don't have a studio or a workshop or even a garage. Um, and again, this is where I sort of say about the fact that I don't have a lot of storage space. And it, it is, it's because I'm sort of doing everything I do out of my front room. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so one thing obviously as you can see, um, you can sort of put things in this so it cuts things in a certain order. Um, obviously when I was making this up, I just made pictures up and shapes and all the rest of it and I didn't really think about the order. And the other thing you can see here, these things now, it's cutting out, it didn't actually cut out. Um, yeah, I didn't have the, the power high enough, so I was just obviously like sketching in or etching in lines. Uh, but luckily I didn't move the MDF sheet, so I could just readjust my settings and go back over the thing. But again, everything we do, good old learning curve. And the more we do things, well, hopefully, the better we get because we learn by our mistakes. And there we go. I think it's something like 15 minutes, I think, this took. But I say, you could make it go a lot quicker uh, as this machine is pretty fast. 
Um, but yeah, I was happy with the sort of speed that, that it took. And it is a case of, well, popping everything out. Um, and yeah, lovely clean cuts. And that's what I love about this laser. You'd have seen me using lasers in the past to make up well, a variety of boxes. Primarily, I think, for kill teams. Um, but yeah, this is the first time of me making something like this. And yeah, the fact that you can make uh, or cut MDF and it bends, which is just amazing. Because you the amount of things you can sort of, uh, well, cut out of MDF. Um, yeah, there's absolutely tons of stuff. So the file for this, guys, if you are interested and have a laser engraver, I'm going to leave on my Patreon page if you wanted to make up, obviously, this book. Uh, but the great thing is, obviously, now you, I've made this one up, I can resize it to make it a little bit bigger or smaller, depending on, obviously, the, the kill team sizes, I guess. Although, what I would like to try and do is make all the boxes the same. Um, and, yeah, have these on, like, a bookshelf would, uh, would look pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I'm not very good at sometimes at following my own guidelines. Uh, but yes, I'm using super glue. Obviously, this is wood. So, yeah, you can use wood glue before anyone sort of uh, spams. Why didn't I do that? Um, for me, I use obviously a bit of super glue just for speed. Um, yeah, super glue, uh, wood glue is obviously great, but it does take a little while to dry. Um, and yeah, sometimes I like to just crack on, get things done because, well, I like to work on several projects at once. So, yeah, that's kind of why Superglue is my kind of friend to go to. And, yeah, so I obviously cut out little sections here so my uh, my figures will fit in these. So these are 32mm holes. Um, yeah, so I reckon I could obviously make a kill team box and obviously do the smaller sizes and get obviously more people in. So I put magnets in the corners as I want this to be able to shut and, well, stay shut. So rather than doing any sort of, like, clasps or anything else, uh, yeah, I love magnets. <laughs> I mean, they're awesome things, easy to use, they're cheap enough. Uh, and yeah, they're great for these kind of things. Just where you want something to shut, but obviously still be able to open it up uh, as well. So the other great thing, obviously, the laser cutter, which I don't really do so much here. And that is you can, as well as obviously cutting bits of MDF, you can etch um, images and photos and pictures into them, uh, which is just awesome. Again, guys, click on the link down below. I'm going to see more about this machine and obviously all that they can do and all the, the tech sort of stuff. Um, so as you know guys, I don't really go into the full tech side of a lot of products because I like to keep things in sort of like layman's terms, nice and simple, nice and easy. Obviously showing you how things work uh, and what can be achieved. So yeah, good old magnets. I say this, the lid, it, it doesn't come off. Um, it's almost have to pull it quite, quite hard to, uh, to get that bad boy off. So yeah, keeping this uh, nice and simple with a paint job. Um, yeah, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do, uh, so that's why I've kind of gone with the sort of the brushed, sort of bronzed look. So just a bit of dry brushing, uh, going one direction all the time, and yeah, say like keeping it nice and simple, nice and sweet. Didn't really want to uh, make the colours too distracting, as obviously it's just a nice way of well storing the kill team. And I say definitely getting a few of these uh, books on a shelf would look <laughs> would look quite neat. I must admit, because I do have quite a few kill teams. So that's the outside done, and then just a case of, I want to make it obviously look like it was a book, so yeah, parts of it need to be painted white, uh, to look like paper. And again, good old dry brushing. Um, yeah, simple, quick, uh, and obviously dry brushing in one sort of pattern, and yeah, I'm using a, a bit of an old dry brush here, so this one has got some bits on it that are quite, uh, well, it's not as smooth as it used to be, which in this case is pretty good, because it is leaving a few little drag lines here and there. And yeah, I'm really pleased how this came out. It's like a lovely way of storing your kill team. Um, and yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so pleased with it. And so the fact you can make MDF bend, yeah, mind blown. So guys, don't forget to check out the link below. Go and look at Algo Laser. Um, yeah, definitely something worth investing in because the uh, the things you can do with this are just amazing. And I'm sure you will be seeing me using this quite a bit in the future. If you are new here and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell as I do produce a video or two every week. Big shout out and thank you to all my lovely patrons and Chaos Cards and the Colour Forge for helping support the channel every month. It really does mean so much to me. There's another video on the screen, guys. Give that a little click and see more of what I do. And, well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.